Do you know planets can behave like other planets? Yes, they can. Which means Jupiter can behave like Saturn. Well, yes, you may think, oh, yeah, yeah, we know, you know, maybe if Jupiter is in Capricorn or if he's in Aquarius, then he behaves like Saturn, right? Maybe, but certainly it does, provided the houses, the Karak houses are involved. Karak houses means, suppose Saturn is, as you know, he's the Karaka for the Dustana houses, right? The 6th, 8th and 12th. So if a particular planet is situated in the Dustana houses, it can behave like Saturn. But does it literally mean that, you know, he becomes like Saturn? No, actually it does not mean that. But it means that during the Dasha of that particular planet, you can experience similar traits related to that planet. Like in this case, if Guru is in a Dustana house, then it means that during Guru Dasha, you can experience things like delays, disappointments, setbacks, losses. And this is not like uh, black and white. You need to see different aspects. And that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. But that is the pretext of the video. A planet behaving like somebody else. All right. So it's like uh, double acting. Okay. So it's like the planet externally is somebody, but internally the planet is somebody else. All right. So God is there with you all the time. Just look at him and you will find him irrespective of which planet is behaving like whom. And if you want a personalized horoscope consultation from me, you can go to my website down in the description section. And yes, if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And for the last time, maybe <laughs> I will be in New Delhi, India from this, this Sunday, 24th. I will be reaching New Delhi. And I will be there till 2nd of December. On uh, 2nd December, I will be going to Guwahati. And therefore, if you are in New Delhi and you would want to have a personalized consultation with me face-to-face, one-on-one, in person, then you please send an email to exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com. Please do it at the earliest. I have... A few slots open for, I think, 27th, 28th, 29th. Okay, these three days, the remaining days, the slots are full. And within these three days, I also have to meet a lot of other people. So I will try my best to fit in uh, if you are really eager for a consultation. Or maybe we can also do it online if uh, I cannot do it. All right, but please send the mail to exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com and my team will get back to you at the earliest. And I also have the Massive Wealth webinar on 21st of December. If you would like to join, then please go to my community page. You will see the first post about that webinar. All right. So now, for the planet, for any planet to behave like some other planet, you have to have some you know, intersections with the, the other planet. So for example, if any planet has to behave like Saturn, then it has to be in the Dustana houses or it has to be con it has to lord the Dustana houses. So for example, if you have Jupiter in uh, 11th house, okay, but your Jupiter is the 8th lord, then also this is problematic. Why? So for example, if you are Taurus Lakna, then Guru is the 8th lord, right? So for Capricorn, Guru is the 12th lord. So even if your Jupiter is well placed, but he's lording a bad house, a difficult house, then you know this planet Jupiter can behave like Saturn. But as I said, it's not like so simple, you know, okay, it's in a Dustana, lording a Dustana, so it will be troublesome. No, it's not so simple. So that is level one. So level one is at the planetary level, which means if a planet is lording or situated in Dustanas, it can behave like Saturn. Number one. But number two is more important. It is the nakshatra. So, so suppose as I said, you know, you are a, you are a Taurus Lagna. Okay. And you are Taurus Lagna and Jupiter is your eighth lord. Okay. So now, this same Jupiter in your chart is, you know, uh, let's say it is in a good house. Okay. So let's assume it is in the fifth house. Okay. Now, fifth house is a great house in general. So for 
Taurus, uh, Virgo is the fifth house, right? So now within Virgo, you have Uttara Falguni Nakshatra, right? Second, third, fourth Pada of Uttar Falguni is in Virgo. So now, who is the Lord of Uttar Falguni? It is the Sun, Surya. Where is Surya placed? If Surya is also in a Dusthana, either in 6th, 8th or 12th, bang on, this Jupiter Dasha will wreak havoc in your life. Why? Because when this planet's Dasha gets activated, your 6th, your 8th house will get activated because Guru is the 8th Lord. And some traits related to 5th house will get activated. But because an Akshatra Lord is the Sun, which is also in a Dustana house, either in 6th, 8th or 12th, so uh, if you know it is in the if Surya is in either sixth or eighth, uh, sixth or twelfth, then another Dusta house is getting activated. So Jupiter is already activating the eighth house, and Surya is activating either the sixth or the twelfth. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> this is a problematic situation because see, whenever one Dusta house is active, you can still handle things. Okay. You can to some extent, but if you know there are two Dustana houses which are getting activated, it is very, very, very difficult. So, now what should you do during such a Mahadasha, during such an Antardasha? You have to reduce your expectations, you have to lower your expectations, otherwise, you will be frustrated, my friend. You will feel that life is not worth living, or yeah, you may feel that you know, let me give up everything and go to the forest. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't even do that because there are no forests in Kaliuga, right? And even if you go, you, you don't have the training and then you may not survive in a forest. If you Even if you hypothetically end up going there, right? So therefore, if you have this, understand that this dasha is going to be tough. No sugar coating, no goody uh, goody things, okay? Goody goody bate. <laughs> Direct, very straight. So therefore, now... When you have seen the lordship of this planet and the placement of this planet and the nakshatra lord, where the nakshatra lord is placed, then you know this planet has all power. So similarly, Mars can behave like Saturn or it could be the other way around. Jupiter, uh, Saturn can also behave like Jupiter when, especially if you are a Taurus or you are a Libra Lagna, because for these two ascendants, Saturn is a yoke karag. It's a great planet. Okay. And if Saturn for Libra Lagna or uh, for Taurus Lagna is even reasonably well placed, you know, but not in a Dustana, then what happens? Saturn will behave like Jupiter and it will bless you with good things. But of course, you know, it will come with Saturnian traits like, you know, for example, uh, if you get a guru, the guru may be a foreigner or uh, the guru may be uh, from a different community, tradition, culture, religion, something like that. Okay, so that's how it will work. And as we are discussing now, you know, if Jupiter becomes Saturn, now what happens, you know, when Jupiter Dasha starts, you know, so Jupiter is behaving like Saturn from the points that we discussed. But now the difference is, the difference is that the events that will happen is the the commonalities the events will be troublesome okay just like saturn but the difference is now uh, suppose you know you you are in a company and you are destined to have problems there because you know jupiter is behaving like saturn but the ambience of the company will be very good you know it's like it will be like a uh, what do they say like you know a good company like you know some big corporate company or something like that okay so if suppose venus is behaving like uh, Rahu, then also you know, we, we, during Venus Dasha, it, it will again be a corporate or a you know, big organization where you will have a nice mobile, nice laptop, they will give you a good car, a good home or something like that. Okay, so externally the traits of the planet will not change. So Jupiter, Venus, Moon and Mercury, they will give you good ambience. But, and Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, as you know, will always give you bad ambience. But, be, but if this Venus or Jupiter or Moon or Mercury is behaving like Saturn because of the lordships and placement and nakshatras. Although externally everything is nice, but internally your job is not secure. You know, you can be fired any day, right? So you have to live with that threat, okay? So therefore, if you have this situation, then uh, please understand that it is like, <laughs> it is... 
externally like Jupiter. Okay, people are praising you. People are saying, oh, you are so fortunate. You know how you have this um, amazing job, you know, in this amazing MNC. You know, it's like big corporate company with all the nice perks of the the world, right? But internally you are tormented. So do not do show off if you have such placement. So if your benefics are behaving like malefics, then what happens is I'll tell you the problem is people think you will you are making a lot of money because your ambience is great. You are in a good locality, in a good company, or you know maybe you are married to a very uh, rich spouse or a very attractive spouse, right? And then hmm, people are thinking, oh yeah, this person is very fortunate. Wow, how attractive! Uh, the partner is how rich the partner is you know what a life you know I wish I had this kind of a life I wish my partner was that attractive or that rich or that affluent or that smart that intelligent whatever right and internally you're like oh my god how did I get into this marriage right my life has been ruined because of marrying this person so therefore Number one, reduce your expectations. Number two, do not do so off because the problem with this, this situation is your, your situation may be you are famous but poor. That is the worst thing to be in. Okay, that's the worst situation to be. The best place where you can be in life is uh, rich and uh, not famous because then nobody is bothering you because nobody knows you have money. No, but if you are, you know, rich and you are also famous, uh, people will kind of run behind you. They will want to exploit you. They will want to kind of use you, okay, all the time. And if you are uh, rich and you are not famous, then it's best, okay. So therefore, with this, what happens the other way around? You know, you are uh, you are like all over the news, but uh, you know, you are screwed inside, okay. So don't don't uh, keep showing others how great your married life is you know how great your uh, job is you know how great your car is you know don't take like don't have too many luxury purchases don't become the object of envy if you have such placements because any time it can be taken away from you okay so therefore if your jupiter is behaving like saturn or your venus is behaving like rahu ketu or whichever planets then you need to understand that this external this uh, sand castle that I have built can be, uh, you know, can, can be taken away at any time, right? So as Krishna says in the Gita, right? right? This material world is a place of misery. Krishna says that to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita. So therefore, you should always have this understanding in your mind. And number three, most importantly, do not become proud because what happens is, if you if you are proud and uh, when things are going as per your wish, you become more prouder, right? But the moment things collapse, then what happens? You lose everything. You will lose all name, fame, power, position, authority, everything. So even the Bible says, right? Pride cometh before the fall. And uh, hankar, as the Vedic scriptures say, it is very daunting. So be humble. Uh, if somebody is appreciating you, take the appreciation, pass it on to your seniors, to your parents, to your elders and to your shiksha guru diksha guru to your to god okay so therefore don't take credit beyond what is necessary you may be tempted to do everybody's praising you because it's jupiter venus moon mercury right everything is nice 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 okay but it's like uh everybody thinks you are in a bed of roses but you know it's a bed of thorns okay so therefore protect yourself don't put all money into you know uh, what is that penny stock or mean coins and don't wreck havoc in your life don't ruin your life so therefore protect yourself remain humble and don't show off beyond a certain extent <laughs> all right thank you so much ladies and gentlemen india dates uh, for new delhi from this sunday 24th to 2nd of december Please email at exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com for a personalized one to one consultation. Or if you want an online consultation, you can always go to my website down in the description section. And massive wealth webinar on 21st December. Please check my community page for that. All right. Thank you so much. God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and He will help you which planets will behave like Saturn. <laughs> Please take care. Jai Siya Ram.